Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Logic Bots. In between the episodes I had a look at the next two levels and there is a mine search level where you have to find mines that are hidden beneath the ground and you have to mark them with a GPS location. I have no idea how to solve that but I think I know how to solve the truck follow. So let's have a look at that level. In the objectives it says build a logic bot that can follow a scale model of a truck. Your logic bot must remain within 2 meters of the truck's rear. One of the accomplishments is to complete the level without using any ultrasonic rangers or laser rangers. So we kind of have to do that with the sensors that only have a true or false signal without any real distance. To be honest with you, I would have done it with the proximity sensors anyways. But there we go, this is the truck we have to follow, shouldn't be a problem at all. I bet it's gonna be a problem, but let's place our body right here, I'm gonna activate all of my snap lines. We're going to add the wheels as usual. This is kind of a tedious thing now. To maybe make this less tedious, we could, as of this point, kind of save this. We make a new save and call this a big body with wheels. There we go, and now we shouldn't have to do this every time. Anyways, let's check out the sensors. We got the proximity sensors, I think I'm actually gonna install two of these guys on either side. And we kind of have to make them face into a 45 or so degree angle and then we have to test out how far off they have to be. So let's see, we could place something here, make this really thick, something along these lines, and then we have to rotate it by 45 degrees. Maybe let's place one here and see how that feels. Can I now place the sensor on top of it? But it will have to be a little bit higher and more out. So let's see, let's go up to maybe 150 millimeters. Seems to be right. Minus 45 degrees and we're gonna have it out as much as possible. Or maybe we orient ourselves on this edge. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And we need to do the same thing for the other side. Minus 45 degrees. There we go, that is good enough, it's not perfect of course, because I didn't use snap lines. But now we should be able to attach the sensors right here, on the very top. Looks about right, that's what I wanted. Okay, with that we should be able to detect the truck, and as soon as we don't detect it anymore, we are gonna go. Now to be honest with you, we might have to go even crazier, I'm not sure what distance this is. Let's actually check, it surely says here. The range is 0.5 meters, okay, so that is actually really close, it's, it's not 2 meters. <laughs> Also, this sensor is a little bit too much. There we go. Let's make sure we name those guys. This is the right sensor and then we got the left sensor. Also, just for good measure and debugging purposes, I'm gonna add LED antennas on each. So we can actually see when it detects something. Okay, I think that is actually everything we need. We can always add if we need more, but let's go ahead and put the body right here. That's not what I wanted. Maybe I can move it even uh, one further down. So let's see, we want to use the left sensor first and then left LED. This goes in here. Then the right sensor goes here with the right LED. Okay, let's think about this uh, practically. If we start this up, yeah, okay, we have to start driving immediately. If we don't detect anything with either of the sensors, we want to go straight. If we don't detect anything with the right sensor, then we want to go towards the left side and the other way around with the left sensor. Good, good to know. So as I said, if the left sensor does not detect anything, then we want the left motor to go. And if the right motor doesn't detect anything, we want the right motor to go. But it can't be that easy. You know, that's just the beginning. I would assume at least, but there we go. Ooh, ah, okay, I see the truck turns a little bit weirdly, but no, it's actually fine so far. <laughs> Come on, we need to align ourselves a little bit better. Oh, oh, okay, I can see where this could go wrong, because we are gonna be uncentered from the truck very soon. Though, now we are actually compensating again. Oh, hopefully it doesn't go too close to the left side of this bridge. Guys, we're actually doing it. I think I, I get behind this game now. You know, I'm not trying to solve everything the most complicated way as possible. Oh guys, I don't believe this. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Holy cow, check this out. I've never seen this uh, FPS problem here. That must be because we have two vehicles in the joint. Oh, oh, okay, we're going around uh, the rocks. Man, I think I found a very easy solution actually. I wonder what the catch is. I mean, it cannot be that easy, can it? 
I'm still gonna speed it up even though this kind of looks crazy, wow. I think the game actually compensates with the frames in order to guarantee a, a better simulation. Yeah, going around here, no problem. Oh, please don't drive into the building. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, we are on our merry way home and everything seems to have worked. It really depends on how far the truck actually goes in. Maybe there is going to be a catch with the finish line. That would actually be a little bit disappointing. But uh, there we go. Wow, look at that. We, we, we did everything. That's so weird. This should have been one of the first levels in my opinion. Oh well, okay, we did it, guys. <laughs> first puzzle solved. Now I'm gonna have to choose one of those. Remote control sounds interesting. House clear, stair climb. Ooh, I'm kind of interested in what the stair climb is. Can I... Oh no, did we crash? Oh no, I think we crashed. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be right back. There we go. We are within the stair climb level. Uh, let's see. Build a logic bot that is capable of climbing stairs. Okay, let's view the level. Wow, that's interesting. Do we have... Wow, okay. Maybe we need some wheels in order to stabilize not falling back. Where is the finish line? Can I actually see that? Uh, it's probably just straight ahead. Okay, let's see what kind of parts we have for this. Gonna place that bad boy and then what do we have here? Oh, right angle hydraulic piston. Powerful hydraulic piston which will extend when it receives a high input. Okay, then we got a linear piston. Oh guys, this game is amazing and an RC receiver. Okay, this thing can actually be used to manually control your robot. Oh, I think we have to first look at that, man. We have to first go into remote control in order to learn about this function. Wow, this is crazy. Let's see what we have to do here. Drive it to each of the waypoints in order, then park your logic bot on the checkered finish. Okay, seems pretty standard. Oh, so could we make this bot completely remote controlled? I wonder. Let's have a look at the RC receiver. Up to four controls. I mean, that's all four directions, right? That's crazy. Uh, let's now see if we can load up our body here. Body with wheels. Load. Oh man, I should have thought of that sooner. But yeah, let's add this RC receiver right there. And that's theoretically all we need, right? Gonna place that guy here and then we need to set the keys. This is gonna be W, then we have S, then we have A, no, A first and then D. Easy as that. Uh, we probably also need a couple of ore gates and then we need a couple of splitters, I would assume. So we're gonna hook up a W with both of the wheels right there. Then we need to hook up S uh, with both of those and the reverse. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, it will have a little bit more logic than I would have thought because we only have two output signals. So the S is actually going to activate the left mode. How many splitters do we have? We have a triple splitter. Is that enough? Because we're gonna need that. So we're gonna use one of those in order to activate both of the motors. So I'm going to need yet more OR gates. Gonna hook up the OR gates to those guys and then one of those can go here and another one can go there. And now we only need to make sure that the left and right motor are activated. So we're gonna need yet another normal signal splitter. We're gonna reverse those guys. So now I should be able to drive forward and backwards. Let's actually test this out. <gasps> okay, oh, this is amazing. Logic bots, you are an amazing game. I never would have thought that there is actually remote control in the joint. I mean, with that, we have so many new possibilities, guys. Okay, let's hook up the other guys with A. I want to turn towards the, uh, let's see, towards the left side. So the right motor has to go. We still have one slot free here. So A goes to the right motor and D goes to the left motor. There we go. Now we should be able to also turn. Yeah, working perfectly. Oh yeah, I just have to brake in order to turn. So that's the only thing. But there we go, guys. We can actually turn around. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. Let's go to the first checkpoint. Oh, yeah. There we go. You know, we could make this better by actually using all four wheels in order to turn. But, you know, that's also fine. We got the second checkpoint. This feels a little bit like cheating. I already thought, man, how am I gonna make it through that maze? But... Here we are. It's very easy. Okay, now we have to turn around here. Am I gonna have enough space? Yeah, just about. Okay, great guys. Did I do it within time? Hopefully. No, 
but with the special assignment, that's fine enough. Wow. Okay, cool. Remote control. Now we can have a look at the stair climb because now we know what that is about. We're gonna load our big body with wheels. And then we're gonna add a RC receiver. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Now, let's see, how can we utilize this right angle hydraulic piston somewhat? Can I make a walking robot? Let's see how the robot reacts if we just let it drive in. So we're gonna place that here and that one here. And we're just gonna need a signal for the time being. There we have it, left and right motor. We're gonna start up the game. So we're going straight to the staircase. But now we are having troubles and this is where the pneumatic piston could help us, maybe. <laughs> or we drag ourselves upwards. I'm just thinking, how can I utilize this? Uh, or maybe we just use the normal piston. Oh, that's an idea. We could go ahead and there is also a linear piston that we could attach to the back, for instance, right there. And then we could kind of push ourselves upwards, right? Let's see how that feels like. Yeah, and if I now push this, shouldn't that work? <laughs> let's see, let's see. We probably need to hook this up right there. And we are going to assign a key. Let's use W. I don't care. We're going to go ahead and set this input here. Linear piston. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, it retracts automatically, actually. Cool, okay, look at that. I can kind of push myself forward here, but now I am not touching the stairs anymore. So we would have to expand this slightly. Okay, if I attach something here and then something at the bottom, shouldn't single axis gyroscope? What? Measures the change in rotation around the axis perpendicular to the gyroscope's face and outputs the rotation in degrees per... Wow, I don't understand this at all. I'll have to look into this part. I'm sure we don't need it right now. What is that? A powerful 12V reversible motor fitted inside a metal case. Comes complete with its own circuit board for controlling the motor. My, that is interesting. Okay, maybe we actually... Oh, I just have an idea. <laughs> we can uh, maybe use both of the pistons. That would be great. We're gonna add that here but I need to rotate it by 90 degrees, probably something along these lines. And now, oh yeah, <laughs> that's gotta work, right? Oh, that would be so wonky. We're gonna place that here, assign the S key for that matter. Gonna hook that up right there. And that's probably all we need, right? Let's make this happen. Okay, I'm gonna use the piston to push us forwards. And, oh, I totally forgot, that is probably not gonna work, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we push this first and then that. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we made it up the stair. It's a little bit wonky, but it's uh, working much, much better than before. I'm gonna do that again and push and uh, release this one. Yes, okay, I got this, guys, I got this. Push and release this one. <laughs> Oh, this is so wonky. First S and then W and we can totally make it up the stairs. Oh yeah, the finish line is almost there. Wow, guys, this must have been the most wonky thing to make it up here. I'm not sure what the, the master solution is, but I kind of like it. Oh no, are we stuck? Come on, push. It's just one. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We did it with the extra achievement. What was that actually? Let's have a look at that. Complete the level bot without using any triple wheels in your... Triple wheels? What's that about? Are there uh, different wheels? Ooh! <laughs> I totally didn't see that. <laughs> triple wheel is designed for climbing stairs. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Let's actually see if that uh, would have made a difference, if that would have made it easier. But I kind of like my derpy solution. Don't say anything against my solution. So we would have those wheels right here, I guess. And then we do the left motor and then maybe we can use a normal wheel on the back. Triple wheel on the right and normal wheel on the right. How about that? Uh, what do I have to hook up? Nothing, I think. Yeah, let's just let it run and see what it does. Ah, okay. Oh, is this even going into the right direction? Hmm, I like my solution better. <laughs> let's continue. The next two levels would be House Clear and Assault Course. And I think we don't have the time to finish one of these, but we can have a look at them and see what we want to do the next time. 
What is the objective here? Build a logic box which can remotely control to search every room in the building by driving over the marked area. Okay, let's see. Okay, we just have to go inside of the building. That's easy. If we make it controlled, we have to go over steps, it looks like. We probably must not touch these zones from the looks of it. and Or maybe we must touch them. And then we must climb the stairs. Okay, I see the problem. We have to have a vehicle that can uh, drive just like we did before, but also climb stairs. It's just a combination of both. Let's have a look at the assault course and see what we have to do here. Build a bot which you can remotely control to complete the assault course. Your bot must scale a barrier, fit through a pipe and climb over a plow through some rubble. Who? okay. Let's see. Wow, that is great! I love this! Uh, we're gonna have to climb over this wall using some mad technique, then go through that pipe, make it across this rubble, and then across the line. No problem. I think both of these guys we can solve in the next episode. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.